Hello everybody. Today in this video, I'm going to be having my Mavic Air 2 versus my Mavic 3. I'm going to be looking over a pretty good list of all the different things that they have. I'm going to be going over their flight time, range, video and picture quality, speed, active track capabilities, their size, their portability, their cost, their charging time, their remotes, their ability to have wind resistance, their charger size, the SD card placement, sound, and their floodlights. I'm going to be going over quite a few different things. And the first thing that I'm going to go over, just because it always aggravated me. See, this, this case is kind of nice. You have to pull it all the way up and it pops off like so. It comes like that, so it's like that, right? Pretty pretty fancy right Mavic 3 never closes no matter what you do it's always open like that I mean it looks pretty cool in there but that is so annoying it's just that's just something that always irked me all right let's get started in this video all right so for the differences in battery size I got this little tripod here so unfortunately the battery on the Mavic 3 is inside it charging because I don't have any fancy um, fly more package but for my Mavic Air 2 I do and for charging it you get one of these this little dealio and it connects to this which then just goes back to a standard one of these in the background uh, it's pretty simple and you're able to connect and charge three batteries at once on this thing right here, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming the DJI Mavic 3 has a similar kind of dealio, but for now, all I'm able to do is use this right here, which is a closer. This right here, which is a um, big old 65 watt. I think that's 65 watt power supply that goes from US to USB-C into this, right into the drone. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, both of these have a second part where you can attach a charger for the, the controller, which is quite nice. You get a second little USB-C and that's pretty cool. That's about what you got for charging. Uh, yeah, that's about for charging. All right, so now I'm looking at the controllers. From a glance, they're nearly identical. Get a little bit of a closer look and you can see this has this here while this doesn't. These two words are different. This is the Mavic 3 remote. You can see that it's got this little pause thing right here and it says sign for cinematic. While this one says tripod and just has a return to home button. Everything else is identical on these two, as you can see. So that's pretty good. And on the back, you can see there is some slight differences. So on the back, the Mavic 3 has a slight, uh, is that actually bigger or is that just in my head? No, it's identical. Yeah. So they look pretty much identical. They have, I think they have the same model numbers also. Let me see. RC231 for the Air 2. RC231 for the Mavic 3. And they're both the C5 controllers. I wonder if they're compatible. Either way, this is the newer one, this is the older one. You wouldn't be able to really know because they're identical. They have the exact same everything else exact same joystick positions, USB input for charging, USB-C output for uh, connecting to your phone, USB input, USB-C input for charging. Yeah, I just wanna make sure I've got that USB-C in. And that would connect to the charger over there. All right, so that's the remotes. All right, so now I'm gonna be looking at dimensions. So it's pretty obvious to tell which is which. So this is the Mavic 3, and this is the Mini 2. 
or the Air 2. So you can see they're dramatically different in size. The Air 2 has got probably two inches on the Air the, the 3. Let's bring it right over so you can get an exact view. And this one's a little bit wider. So I could go, I probably should have had that ready. But online, you can see that this one, it's dimensions, and this one's dimensions. No. Okay, so just starting off, you can see they're a lot different size. Another thing is the battery. So looking at this, the battery pops out the top, like it did with the rest of them, while the Mavic, the three, its battery sits in a cartridge in the back, which you pop out. I've actually never really taken out the battery all that much just because I don't have the fly more so I have to charge it with it in there yeah I'm charging it for a later video or for this video but a later part so the next is the gimbal so the mini the air 2's gimbal just freely rotates all the time which is kind of annoying and when you're trying to put its case on it can be a pain because you gotta get just perfectly lined up, and then it's a junk. There. And now that's on, it's nice and secure. While this one's gimbal, it just stays all locked in place, and then you remove it because I don't want to, and it's all nice and secure the whole time. And its case is a lot different. So this, the Mavic 3's protective cover, completely goes over the front and just completely blocks off the entire front of it and all and also protects the obstacle avoidance cameras. So it completely protects the front and just comes around and grips the back. Pretty cool. Alright. So now let me just set this over here. So now that we got that, let's look at them unfolded. So we'll bring this and they're pretty simple to unfold. You just, you just get a scoop and put it back. You can see the feet. Okay, so to unfold it, you just start by doing these two sides first, and the bottom ones unfold like this. And there you go, unfold it. As you can see, this one doesn't unfold too much bigger. But this one, we unfold it. It's dramatically heavier also. Again, I don't have the weight of either of these. Let's see, this won't give me a break, and it will not. It does not show its weight in there. So I don't want to show the weight either. So let's open this up. This one gets a lot bigger. So as you can see, their two sizes are dramatically different. This drone is a lot smaller than this one. This one's, oh, I always forget that. See, I again went off this thing's weight without its battery in it. Because that one's where the battery's also in there. And when you have the battery, they're a lot different because this one weighs a lot more than it does without its battery. They're actually pretty similar in weights. So you can definitely tell this one's lighter, but yeah. So you can see their differences in size. Let's just bring it right over. You can see bigger, smaller, which is what you'd expect. Again, I don't know exactly what the prop size are, but get them all nice unfolded. This one's unfolded. You can see this one's got a bit of scratchy on it because the guy I bought for it decided to crash it course didn't do anything at all you literally just yeah I'm stupid okay so you can see the still bigger in all aspects and you get to see the top cameras of the obstacle avoidance here well this one does not have any on top which is why this one's got a lot better obstacle avoidance all right so that work that'll finish off the drone size Okay, yeah, that'll finish up the drone size. Okay, so now I'm gonna look at SD card placement and the ports on the drone. So we'll start with the Mini Air 2, the Mavic Air 2. So 
I like to put this on just because this one likes to shake around a lot. I'm just going to leave these things. Oh my gosh. It's such a pain. There. Okay. You get, it gets a lot easier once you get used to it. So on this side, we have our USB-C. And that's what we can use to charge the drone and connect it to a computer to download the files off of it. Though I would advise that because you literally have to have the drone powered on, which is kind of a pain. Though it is the only way to get to the internal storage, unless you download it through the app. All right, and on this side we have our micro SD. And it's nice and easy to get to, which is not, which is what I can't say about this one, but you can see it there. Real easy to pop in, pop out, yeah. All right, so now we'll go to the Mavic 3. So the Mavic 3 has one big port and it's right on the back, right here. And it's got its micro USB, USB-C right here. And behind it, it has the SD which is kind of a real pain. The micro SD is way back there and you can see it right there. Yeah, right there. It's actually a real pain because you can kind of need tweezers to get it out. So it's just a pain. But other than that, it's really cool. I mean, when you take the battery out, it does get a lot easier, but that's if you take the battery all the way out, which is a pain. All right, so that's with the micro USB, micro SD. Oh my gosh, my brain's not working right now. So that's with the micro SD and the micro SD placement. All right, now I'm going to look at charging time for both of these drones. Now, this one has a bigger battery, but they honestly charge in about the same time, which is about an hour. It takes to charge each battery. And when you're doing the three batteries, it takes about three hours. So yeah, it's about the same hour per battery. Yeah, so that's with the battery charging. Pretty straightforward. All right, now I'm going to look at probably the most important part and that would be the price. So we go to the base and the base price for the DJI Mavic 3 on the DJI website is $2,049. It gives all the, de the details and whatnot. So then we'll go to the Fly More combo, and it's two, $2,849, so it adds an additional $800, which honestly is kind of messed up. No, I guess it does add a bunch more. Oh, yeah, whatever. So then we'll go to the cinema, the, the sign version of it, and that adds a bunch of stuff, and that is $5,000, or $499. Okay. So let's go to Amazon and the base DJI Mavic 3 is $2,024. So it's just a bit cheaper than the website. The Fly More combo, it is $2,749. So again, it's just a bit cheaper. And we'll go to this one. And it is just a little bit cheaper than DJI's website. So it's all just a little bit cheaper. All right. So that's the DJI Mavic 3. It's got its base of $2,000. So let's go to the Mavic Air 2. And it is not available right now. It's out of stock. Uh, it wants you to buy the new one. Oops, didn't mean to click that. But it's saying it was $800 new and 1000 for the Fly More or 560 for the this combo this special and 789. So I'm assuming this is what it normally is. So it's normally $800 or 990 for the Fly More. So let's go to Amazon. And Amazon has it as $958, so it's a little bit more, but it's available again. So let's go to the Fly More combo. And it is $1,100. So that's actually a pretty good deal for the Fly More combo. So let's see. But then we have it for 
wait. Magic Air 2. And it's cheaper around. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. And we have it for cheaper. Because why not? So you can get the Mavic Air 2. Oh, it's renewed. Okay, I was like, why is it cheaper? So you can get it renewed for $800. And the Flymore for $850. So that's something to keep in mind. All right. So that's the price. We got the price of $950. And two thousand forty-nine. So yeah, it's good to keep it. Well, two thousand twenty-four. So it's good to keep in mind. Okay, so now I'm going to look at portability. Now both these drones are extremely portable, as given with most folding drones. But the Mavic Air will win in this one because it is smaller. That's just means more portable. They each have a nice little bag. I only have the bag for the Mavic Air 2. I don't have the bag for the Mavic 3, but the bag's nice and small and you can stick it pretty much anywhere. It does have pretty good support. Let's look on the inside. It's got a spot for all the batteries. You can put the charger in here. It's pretty nice. Up here you can put another, other junk. So, yep, you can see that with that. And that's for portability, they're both very portable. And the Mavic Air 2 just being smaller makes it more portable. So that's just that there. All right, we'll continue on. All right, for this next test, I'm taking the DJI Air 2, the Mavic Air 2, and I'm gonna see how loud it is. So let's get it all started up. So let's go to the Decibel X app. All right, so sitting right next to the drone, we get a 70 decibel. This is with the Mini Air 2. We get about 72 decibels for the Mavic Air 2. All right, now it's time for the Mavic 3. Let's get it launched. Let's go to the Decibel X app. All right, so sitting next to it, we can see we get about the same as the other drone. So let me stop talking and let it read. It's about the same. And it actually sounds a little bit quieter to me, honestly. So that's just something to keep in mind. They have about the same level of sound, but I think the, the Mavic 3 sounds less. It sounds quieter. All right, so let's continue on. All right, so I'm outside, and we're going to be looking at the camera qualities of these two different drones. Now, this isn't really a fair battle, as this drone has a half an inch sensor. It's, able to, it's got 12 megapixel camera, which it's able to turn into a 48 megapixel picture. Can't remember how that works, but it is there. It's got 84 degrees field of vision and an f2.8 aperture. All right, so then we go to this guy. So this guy is a beast. It's got a four thirds inch sensor and a second half an inch sensor, which is the telephoto lens. It's got the same aperture, the f2.8. I'm not sure what the E.24 is, but you guys are probably telling me. Uh, this camera's max resolution is 4K at 5.1, no, it's 5.1K. That's the bottom camera and the top one's a 4K. And I think this has a 20 meg camera on it. I can't remember though. I think it's a 20 meg. All right. So let's go to this one. I'm pretty sure. So this one's got 4K again. It's got 4K 60 FPS, that's its max. This one can do 5K at 50 FPS and 4K at 120 FPS for crazy slow motion. 
So that's another thing that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else is with them. Uh, this one's got just way better video in general. It's all around better. But this one does have some interesting things. Since it has that uh, ability to take 48 megapixel pictures, it can take an 8K time lapse. And it looks pretty crazy. Well, this one's limited to only 4K. Uh, let's see, the, there's a couple other things. The camera. This one's got a bit of a better gyroscope, not gyroscope, stabilization on the camera just because it's a lot bigger. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. But you honestly won't notice it too much. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's about it. The camera. This one's just got an all around better camera. Uh, we can go to nighttime pictures. So these both actually take really good nighttime pictures and videos. But then again, with that four thirds inch sensor, it's the Mavic 3 is able to dominate this one. But it is pretty evenly matched though, because that one's able to take a uh, pretty good long exposure pictures, but no, it's not. This one's just way better. That's all there is to it. Yeah. So for cameras, it's pretty obvious. There's only one Victor here. It's the Mavic 3. So that's what we got with our cameras on each of them. All right, so now I'm gonna be looking at obstacle avoidance. So again, this isn't really a fair fight. So the Mavic Air 2 has one, two, three, four, five, six obstacle avoidance cameras. Two on the back, two on the bottom, and two on the front. It actually does a marvelous job at avoiding stuff. It's got active track, I think it's, it's either active track 2.0 or 3.0. Maybe it's 4.0, I can't remember. It's got a really nice version of active track. And it works really well. I've never had active track crash on me. I've never had it run into anything. I don't really, I don't really rely on it all that much, but it is nice in case of an emergency. But then we go to this guy, and this guy has 360 degree act obstacle avoidance. So it is pretty much unrivaled. It's got two cameras on the top, two huge cameras on the front. See, this is something that's different. So these top cameras, they're about the same as these cameras, but these cameras are just huge. It's got two big cameras in the front, two big cameras on the back, and two big cameras in the bottom, giving it eight total cameras. So for obstacle avoidance, this one just dominates. It is just an all around bruiser when it comes to obstacle avoidance. I've got some videos on that and it's pretty crazy. For tracking, this one just dominates, it's pretty sweet. All right, that'll finish up active track. All right, so I had to bring it back inside, it was getting really windy. So now let's go to range. So you guys have probably seen my videos before on the Mavic 3. I was able to take this out six miles and it was perfectly fine. I was able to come back with plenty of battery. I could have probably gone out farther. Now I have taken out the Mavic Air 2 before. I might do a range test on that eventually just to show you guys. But I had taken this one out about three miles and it came back perfectly fine. But then again, I was using the different way of flying, so I bet I could go out farther. So that's what we got for range. And this one, when we go to, when we go to video quality when transmission, so the Mavic 3 uses the newer version of OcuSync, so it's able to do 1080p at 60 FPS. Well, this is able to do 1080p at 30 FPS. So it just destroys it with OcuSync. You might not think it's that much until you actually do it. It's, it's something else. It's a whole new experience when flying using the camera. It's pretty crazy. All right, so that'll finish off this little section. All right, so one last thing I almost forgot to mention. It's not gonna be in the tally because I just thought about this afterwards. So these drones actually have spotlights on them and they're pretty darn cool. So let's just, no, let's take it off the tripod. So right here, we get our spotlight on the Mini, the Mavic Air 2, and right here we get our spotlight on the Mavic 3. So 
right off the bat, you can see this one's got two, this one's only got one. So from that, you probably can imagine that this one's got a better spotlight, and you'd be right. This one's got a pretty cool little spotlight on it. They're pretty sick, honestly, because from using the spotlight, you can light up a field, a pretty big field from about 60 feet up, and it's pretty cool. It's just really cool. All right, so I just wanted to mention that before I forgot. <laughs> Now I'll go to flight time. So these, this says on the website that it can fly for 40 minutes and this says it can fly for 28 minutes, I think. In reality, you'll get about 35 minutes on this, 30 to 35 minutes, and this 20 to 25 minutes, which is still very good. It is just amazing. I'm just, when I first started, I had the Mavic, the Phantom 4 and that thing the first, I, I was able to get about 25, 20 to 23 minutes per battery. So going to something that has as long a battery as these is quite nice. So the battery, this has a better battery, of course, as you might think. You could keep this up flying a lot longer and you can get that one. But then you go for battery price. So you can get the Mavic Air 2's batteries for, I think you can get them for about 100 bucks each. And these are $200 each. So this one's battery is a lot more expensive. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, now I'm gonna move to wind resistance. So the Mavic 3 is just a bigger drone. So it's able to take the wind on way better than this one is. The bigger the drone, the easier it is to fly against the wind. Uh, this one I have had I have flown in some pretty pretty good winds and it struggles a little bit it can max out at about 20 miles an hour I think that's what it was able to do yeah, about 20 miles an hour that thing maxes out and then you just start to lose video and this one I've got done 25 to 30 miles an hour wind and it just goes perfectly good it's pretty nice all right so now I'm gonna talk about speed so again bigger drone is faster so this one you can get to go 45 to 50 miles an hour and this one you can get to about 40 to 45 miles an hour so the speed's relatively close but this one's just bigger so again it's faster it's an all-around bigger drop all right so i think that covers everything i don't know if there's anything else i was going to do some tests outside just to show you guys and i started to but then it got really windy and it was messing up my mic so i decided not to do that and this works pretty well if you go back to my channel you can see some actual tests of these i'm going to do a, a range test on the mavic air 2 pretty soon and i've done a couple on that and they're really good all right so that'll end this video i hope you guys have enjoyed if so please like and subscribe i'll definitely make more like this this was the mavic 3 versus the mavic air 2. Yeah, that's, that's about it. So let's tally up what everything is. So I got a little notepad right here. So for flight time, the Mavic wins that one. So that's a point for the Mavic. Range, I, I just said the Mavic, not the Mavic 3. Range, the Mavic 3 wins again. So video quality and picture quality, those are two. Well. See, that's where it gets interesting because it was pretty close because that one's got that 48 meg and you might not think that's that good until you actually try it. But it again goes to the, the Mavic 3. So that gets another two points. Speed, Mavic 3. Active track, Mavic 3. Size, Mavic Air 2. That one's a lot smaller than that. So it gets that. Portability, Mavic Air 2. It's more portable. Cost, Mavic Air 2. Charging time, they're about the same. This is, they're about an hour, but this is about 55, 50 to, 50 to an hour. So this one actually does charge faster. So there's a point to that. Remote differences, they're literally the exact same remote. The only difference is they started this pause button on the, the Mavic 3s. So I get, I guess, we'll just have a draw there. I mean, well, the pause button is kind of nice because if you get in trouble, you just click that and the drone just stops in place. So I'll give I'll give a point to Mavic 3 for that. 
it's kind of cheating, but yeah. So wind resistance, Mavic 3. Charger size. So I don't know what the charger is for the Mavic Air 2, the normal one, because I only have the one for the fly, for the single one for the Mavic 3, and I only have the fly more for the Mavic Air 2. So for charger size, I have to give it to the Mavic Air, the Mavic 3. SD card placement, easily dominated by the Mavic Air 2. Sound, I honestly think the Mavic 3 sounds a little bit quieter. So we'll tally the score, and we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for the Mavic 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the Mavic Air 2. So just like you might think the, the Mavic 3 won, but it depends on what you're doing because honestly, price is the biggest thing for most people. So that could be worth 10 points, honestly. So it all depends on what you're doing because for most people, the Mavic Air 2 is the best drone you can get. There's just all there is to it. It's got good camera, good range, good battery time, good flight time, good active track. It's got active track, it's got obstacle avoidance, it's got everything you'd need. This is more of a professional drone or like the, what do they call them? Uh, the, uh, 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 uh. It's like a mix between hobbyist and professional. I can't remember what they, there's a special word for it. So this is more on the professional and this is more for like, if you just want a drone to do vlogs and stuff, you're not gonna get much better than the Mavic Air 2. It's got everything you'll need. So that's where I think the differences are there. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, like and subscribe, I'll make more like it. See you guys next time.